The best is by bad English. What is the best? You speak English. You say bad English. I, if you get stuck, speak French and... Okay. Thank you guys for doing this. I'll just take a few minutes of your time. Um, this is going to be for the Hollywood Reporter website. So we uh, I just saw the movie this morning and loved it. So I wanted to make sure to grab you Thank while you. I was here. Yeah, great. Thank you so much. Um, so the first question, just now that I've seen it and realized that this is not the first time that you and Casey have worked together, I wanted to ask if you could share the story of how you first crossed paths for, for home. What, how did you first meet? And you never acted before? No. Wow. No. Amazing. <laughs> wow. Um, and that movie, for people who are now going to see this one and then want to go back and, and check out your other stuff that you've done together, I, or that film, can you give a little sense just what, what that movie was about and, and what your experience working together was like mm -hmm. that made you want to work together again? Mm -hmm. Home, home, my first feature film was uh, about a family yes. who lived in front of a highway uh -huh. and the highway will open and then uh, this little paradise become to be the hell because of the noise, of the pollution <laughs> and the family become to be really crazy. Yeah. And it's about that. It's it's a mixed uh, drama, f f science fiction film, right. horror film, <laughs> like a real Friedkin film at, right. the end, at the end. So and the film was in uh, Cannes in uh, Critics Weeks in Cannes. And uh, so for this film with sister, um, we I work with KC like a professional now because the base was here. And, and now we, we speak a lot about the character, the re relationship mm -hmm. with Lea Sedou, with the character of Lea Sedou, his sister. And we do a lot of work about gesture too, because he's a thief, but very, really professional thief. Right. So he has to be very credible. So right. <laughs> he has to go very fast, he has to, to do a lot of things. And it, maybe it was the most hard for Casey, it was mm -hmm. very hard, uh, this part of working. Right. So when you did Home, Casey was eight. Now, Casey, how old are you today? When you made, how old were you when you made this film? Was this in the last year, maybe? Last year, yes. Last year. Um, okay. And Jeff, I promise I'm coming to you, but I just want to lay the the groundwork here. I was, I was 57. <laughs> Um, but I, I do want to just ask one other thing, which is you, you, you just mentioned that this movie sort of, uh, and I'm referring now to Sister, captures that period between childhood and adulthood. Um, and Jeff, you noted that it's, we, we make tween movies here. This is sort of a different variation of that. But why, why did this story, Sister, uh, appeal to you? What made you want to make this story of, of all the things you could have done? Um, it, it, it was very funny because I, uh, I started uh, to work the film and uh, I have the idea of the film of these children who are uh, stealing things in the ski station and resell to the kids down and suddenly uh, a memory come back to me and uh, I grew up in, uh, in the foot of uh, Montaigne, mm -hmm. the Jura in France and I remember that when I was a child, I remember of a little boy who, who, who steal everything in the ski station. He was alone every time. And the teacher, the ski teacher, tell us, look at this boy, be careful uh, at your staff because he steal everything. <laughs> and for me, it was very surprised because he don't uh, behind this social... Um, Part. He was not like us, and um, I think for as a children, my imagination worked a lot. Who's that little boy? Mm -hmm. We need to to, 
to store uh, things. So, but what is funny is that the, the memory come during uh, the writing, not before. I don't have the the memory and say, oh, I I I want to to write a story about that. It, the, the memory come. That's during, fine. During, yes, it's very my unconscious. Wow. <laughs> work a lot, you know? Wow. And, uh, yeah. So the movie gets done, it goes to Berlin, it wins this special award, the Silver Bear, mm -hmm. uh, and that must, so for you guys, what was it like uh, to see the film received that well that way at Berlin? And Jeff, when did uh, Adopt Films get involved with the, the, was it after or before Berlin? Yeah, it was during Berlin. We, wow. Uh, I had no awareness of the film's existence yeah. until we arrived in Berlin. And it was one of the first competition films we saw. Wow. And our reaction was unanimous. It was immediate. And you never think when you're a small, burgeoning, new enterprise that you're going to be able to land something you feel has to ultimately be one of the crowning achievements of the festival. We embarked upon making a deal immediately. And it took most. It took a few days. Yep. But Close before the awards, and this is this is the fourth film. This that, will be our fourth release at Adopt Films, and and you noted something interesting, which is that all four films have come from uh, women directors, and uh, not only that, but with this movie, we also have uh, a, a female cinematographer. And I just wonder if you guys can talk about because the cinematography is one of the really noteworthy things about the movie. What what uh, you know what that means to to you guys, and and what your plans are. For that, because I know there's kind of a, a goal now uh, for in terms of awards at the end of the year. Yeah, I mean we can't control, or we'll try, but we can't right. control what Switzerland submits for the best foreign language film right. Oscar. But we do have every intention of mounting a campaign for Ursula as director, screenwriter, for Casey, who's a revelation yes. as supporting actor, and for Agnes Dark, who's the most veteran member of the creative team, um, and. As I think I mentioned earlier, there has never been a woman nominated in history for the Best Cinematography Oscar, and that's that's the only category where that exists, save for actor and supporting right. actor. And we'd like to be the people that change that. It would mean the world for our company. Right. Seldom does a new company go out its first year and wind up yeah. with one or more than one Oscar nomination. Yeah. And, and it's deserving. So, I guess that answers that question. No, it's great, and, and I just feel like I would be remiss if I didn't give you all a chance to just mention about the two women in the, the most prominently in the film, Leia Sedu and Gillian Anderson, which was sort of surprised. I didn't know that she was in it until I saw her, and then we, whoa. So, how did, uh, what did, you, how did you come to those two actresses for these parts? They were perfect. And, and uh, uh, yeah, let me leave it at that. How, Ursula, how did you come to these two women? Yes, for, for Gillian, it was very funny. She's an incredible actress. I, I discovered this incredible actress. For me, it's one of the top actresses uh, in the world, really. Yeah. And uh, she, 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 she reads the script, she falls in love with the script, and she saw my first film, Home, and she fell in love with Home, and she wants to meet me, and we meet, and she's an incredible girl, a, a woman. She's very nice. Woman. Yeah. And so she... she, she want to do the film and and she likes the film, she saw the film and she fell in love with the yeah. film so we are very she, very happy. And uh, for and I really want a star, not a star to have a star in my film. It's not a question of that. That this 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 character look for the for the for Simon look like a fantasy mother. It's a fantasy, so like a star. Mm -hmm. That's why I really want uh, uh, oh, for him to yes, dream of yes, so, yeah. a foreign uh, right. actress, yes. very yes, like like a star. And yes. I, I like that she not come from that she come from TV. Yes, I yes, like this. yeah. And uh, it's science fiction at the mountain. Yeah. And um, so and uh, for Lea, she was not so known at this time. Uh, she she shoot uh, mission impossible just before our shooting. So, okay. And she do. Uh, um, Oh, she, Midnight in Paris. Yeah, uh, Midnight in Paris. She do it after. I yeah, think. Okay. Uh, no. Mission before. Impossible first. Mission Mission Impossible just before okay. our shooting, and uh, she really want to to work with me too. And uh, what I like in Lea is that for the character, I will not relive the the, the secret of the film. Yeah. <laughs> but what I like with her is that sometimes she look like fifteen. Yeah. Sometimes she look like eighteen, uh, twenty eight. 
she can change a lot. You don't know where she's coming from, if she comes from a poor family or not. Right. And this very singular face of Leah, she's very singular. You can, as a spectator, you can project your yeah. own imagination about the past, about what happened with her. When she's not in the, in the film, uh, the, the spectator can imagine what she, right. she done. And Leah is very incredible actress. Uh, she, it's maybe you in France the new actress. It's funny, she reminds me a lot of Catherine Deneuve. I, yeah. I don't know, but that was... Yeah. Yeah. Well, last question. I, I worked with her uncle 30 years ago. With Leah's uncle? Wow. And how did, what was the circumstances of that? Well, her uncle ran Gaumont. Okay. And at the time, I was running distribution for Dan Talbot at New Yorker Films at a time when we were partners with Gaumont oh for all of their God. films in the U.S. <laughs> and her uncle Nicholas would come to New York and we would, he would come to the office and we would see him. So it all comes full circle. And just the last thing, I heard this is your first time, Ursula, and possibly... You as well, uh, um, Casey, for being in Los Angeles. What are you enjoying? This is this is supposedly the home of the film industry. Is it <laughs> is it all that it's cracked up to be? Yes, I love Los Angeles. It's, yeah. it's a very great uh, city. And and Ursula. Yes, it's incredible to be here. It's yes, yeah, like a dream. Yes. Well, I think you're gonna have to get used to it. You're gonna have to. I'm sure you'll be back often now with this movie and, and others. But and and. I don't know if the Dodgers are out of town today. That's I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all and congratulations. Really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.